Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1439. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file, either the finished file or start file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, this is 1439. Last video was 1438. And both videos, we're seeing how to create a cross tabulated or and and logical test sales total report. Here's the formula version. Here's the DAX formula. And that's what we want to do in this video. We want to see how to create this cross tabulated total for sales based on AND and an OR logical test. Now, in the last video, we did formulas. And the logic for any one of these cells is, hey, please go over to the sales column and pick out the sales where the channel is mail order and the product is any one of these. Now, really what this is doing is we're saying, hey, is the sale mail order and Aspen or mail order and Bellin or mail order and Yanaki? All right, this is the finished file. Let's go over to the start file. Now, the first thing we need to do is add this to the data model. Now, I do have this extra column here that I don't need. I actually shot the first video, 1438, with this column here. And it won't affect us, so I'm still going to leave it here for this video. Now, I have Power Pivot, so I can click inside the Excel table and click Add to Data Model. But I'm going to show you how to do this without Power Pivot. As long as you have Excel 2016, we can access the data model, meaning load this to data model, and then build our DAX formulas. So watch this. Here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to click in a single cell, go up to Insert Pivot Table, or use the keyboard Alt and V. Now, it wants to use the actual Excel table from the sheet, but I don't want that. I want to come down and click Add this to the data model. Now, I'm going to also click Existing Sheet and Location, click in cell G14, click OK. Now, we can see our table, and it's in the data model. You can tell that that's a table from the data model because it has that black line at the top. If this was just a straight table from the Excel sheet, that black line wouldn't be there. Now, we want to drag Channel down to Rows. And now we want to build our measure. We actually have two of them. We need a total for freestyle and for beginner. I'm going to go up to the table and right click Add Measure. As long as you have Excel 2016, that feature is there. Now our measure name, this is going to be, we'll call it Freestyle Sales. And then I'm going to click down here. Now we would like to just use the Sum function tab. And I'm going to down arrow to F sales, sales column. Always the table name, and then in square brackets, the field name. Now, if I did this, it would add all of the sales from our sales column for the dealer, in-store, mail order, a website. But when I copy this formula down in the pivot table, I want it to only pick out the products from the freestyle group. So in order to alter the filter context, we put whatever our measure is inside the Calculate function. I type the letter C and then Tab. There's our expression. That's the formula. Comma at the end. And we can change the filter. Remember, we want, since it's freestyle, we want Carlota or Quad. So in Filter Argument, I'm going to type FS down arrow to Product and Tab. Now I'm going to type a space and use the in operator, just as we did two videos ago. Space. Two videos ago, we used the values functions to pick out values from a column. But here, we're simply going to type it in using the correct syntax. Curly brackets will house the conditions that are valid for our OR logical test. In double quotes, I'm going to type quad and double quotes comma, double quotes, and then Carlota, and double quotes, close curly bracket. Now in, if you know in and SQL, it's the same here. It will go through that column and pick out any transactions that are quad or Carlota. Now I'm going to close parentheses on the calculate, and that will work. Now I love this about DAX. I can add 
my number formatting directly to the formula. I'm going to increase the decimals to 2, click OK. And there's the freestyle sales. We can simply drag down to values, and boom, there it is. Now we need to add our second measure. Right click, Add Measure. And the measure name, Beginner Sales, click down here. Now I'm going to put the sum function, FS, and then down arrow to Sales. Now actually, when I close parentheses, we could have created over here a third measure. We could have started with Sales and then used that total sales in both Freestyle and beginner sales, but I only wanted these two options, so I'm going to repeat the sum function once in each formula. Now, I'm not going to use calculate and then in and then list the three. Since there's only two categories, I'm simply going to say, hey, the sum, that's the total of everything, minus, and then square bracket to get to our drop down list, and down arrow, and we see that the F of X icon, that means measure. There's our freestyle sales tab, and that will do it. Currency, two decimals, click OK. Now I can drag this down there, and boom, there it is. Now, if you wanted to see a zero, we can right click pivot table options. For empty cell show, and we'll put a 0. Click OK. And there we go. For any intersecting sale, we have the channel and our OR logical test for the products in that group. All right, that was a little fun. Right click Edit Measure with DAX to do an AND and OR logical test to create our cross-tabulated table. All right, we'll see you next video.